Crossover service. Nobody is crossing anywhere until Buhari packs and go. Charlie Boy, welcome to the news. And thank you for tuning in to listen. Charlie Boy has taken to his social media to slam crossovers. The star shared a video of a particular church during a crossover service. Area further questioned the significance of the service. Well, for many people, especially for those who have not even been, let me say, churchgoers who have been, let me put it, black backsliders, who have not really, really, because of maybe they're going to give excuse of how they're always tired, they work from Sunday to Sunday, some of them, that Sunday is the only day they get to rest, some of them, you know, a lot of things, a lot of excuses. These people miss church. Some them, some of them even to even try. Maybe as the spirit leads, on a Sunday they might be feeling guilty. On a particular uh, period, they might be feeling guilty, and they continue to you know go to church. Then after they stop, but there are some people that don't even step their leg in the church. Now the significance of them crossing over it means doing it more specifically. Bread in the house of God is like you're crossing over and you're handing. If you are really, really going to church with that, I mean, going for crossover service with that in your mind, you're crossing over in the house of God. Number one, you are handing over your next year to him. Yes. Yeah, so you can do it from, look, you can also do it from anywhere. Some people will be like, no, the crowd and everything, especially with this Omicron in whatever, whatever. That is not even the issue. The issue now is... You now as a person, how do you see? Some people just go there to dance. Some people go there not to do really. And yes, but really the main thing is you are going there to, as the service is going on, you are rethinking about the mistakes you made, the mistake, the, the, your wins and all of that about your life. That brief, that moment, you think about it. If you listen to the sermon there, it is about a, you a, encouraging you. A, yes, fine, fine. You maybe you did not do well, or if you if you did well, you pat yourself on the back and do better. You know all those kind of motivational speeches, and then you commit the year into you know into the your maker's hand, and you know tell him that you want to do better. Spiritually, you want to do better in every aspect of your life. You want to do better. That is significant. The significance is I want to do better than last year. Yes, a lot of people will say, eh, if you do not work hard, if you do not work smart. But I tell you, different strokes for different folks. Some people or some of us who we are raised in homes where prayer is like, our faith keeps us going in, in times that everything, everything has failed and, you know, your faith just kept you going and you know, prayer and the Christian life did some things in life. People who do not even believe will, will not connect. <laughs> I don't know how to even say it. They would, they would not connect. Especially those who have even lost their identity. Those who do not know. They just say, I'm a Christian and I'm a Muslim. They forget that they represent something. So, crossing over is very significant in people's life. So, people spend years in the, in the, in the church that, that night in the church. Some... They actually go about their day doing the crossover. They think about it. Some even use one month to do the crossover. It will be a month of going back to God if you have backslided. It will be a month of where and where did I? So a lot of things. It signifies the things. It does a lot. For some people, it puts them on the right track. Why? For some, of course, we know not see everybody go to church now. They ask for God's blessing. <laughs> some go for every other thing. I mean, other things. But... You cannot underestimate it for those who really know what they're doing. Now the news in detail. However, okay, Christians typically have crossover service in churches on New Year's Eve to pray into the new year. However, Area Father called it nonsense and asked what purpose it fulfills. Read his post below. Crossover nonsense. What exactly is the significance of crossover? It is stated anywhere in the Bible. Apart from the fact that there is a time to worship God, is there any spiritual or physical purpose? I know say many don't they prepare to run into the church about a few minutes to twelve just to enter the next year in the church from all sort of places and it makes me wonder what kind of assurance them yeah, yeah, pastor they give them. I laugh in Oguta. Nobody is crossing to anywhere until Buhari Parks and go, we die here. 
get ready for 2022 you go rugged bad though for those when you get mind you are free to die now biko happy new year well uh, like I said, those who really know the meaning, who know the significance, who take it seriously. And I wouldn't blame him for saying this. I wouldn't blame him because some people have no, have, have lost, as in, they have lost the aim and the purpose of this particular praying into the new year, as he calls it. Praying into the new year. Let it be, and not just praying for that moment alone that you trade with the rest of the year. No. You pray into the new year and you keep it, keep that flame burning. That is it. There are some people, like I said, in that crossover sermon or in the crossover, they get the fine strength. Whatever they are going to be saying to them, whatever word um, the, 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 the pastor now is going to be saying to them, is going to be like ministering to them. It is going to be so thin. It will be like, you know, yes, you have you have tried, but it is time to get up. You, maybe you you did not reach your goal, or you did not hit your target. You know, all those things put together: your spiritual goals, your physical goals, your um, career goals, academic goals, and financial goals. All of that. You know, there are some people who actually take it very seriously. They take it; they don't joke with it. While some, you see, two minutes to swear, they don't fly enter inside inside church, any church where they see. Then they go do a pin here. It is not like that. So I think um if you if <laughs> I think if you if I think that's what he meant. But really, he should not he should carry his mouth and be going because um that he does not believe that something works, they don't stop it from working. Just like um for instance, a gun shoots. And if you believe if you don't believe that sh- whether you believe or not that it shoots, it kills. As in a shot of um a gun shot now, a gun that is fully loaded. If you shoot at someone, of course, certainly it is going to kill that person. If, you know, the person does not get, get medical um, attention on time. And, of course, depending on where the person is shot. Okay. With that being even said, Area Father, we have never known you to be a Christian. Allow Christians to enjoy their crossover services. They know its importance and benefits. Exactly what I'm saying. Besides, a blessing is not even attached to whether Buhari goes or not. Very correct. Very correct. Whatever works for you, whatever faith you have. And of course, if you believe that um, this particular regime, <laughs> I will call it regime this time around. If you believe that this regime is, um, you know, is going to overp- is bigger than your God. Fine. It will be like that for you. It will be like that for you. Let me now tell you, there are people who this period, they don't know anybody, but they are cashing in steady. Now, that is another discussion for another day. Okay. He should actually allow those who know the importance and I know he is trying to, you know, uh, chuck yarn to people who they just go to the church two minutes to twelve or three minutes to twelve and they do their happy new year. But um, if you know what you are doing, you know the significance, how this thing has been, your, how you.